Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in the beautiful wine region of Lower Franconia, Germany. So just a few days ago, my family and I returned back from a little summer holiday. We stayed in an absolutely gorgeous area of the Czech Republic called Marianske Landsnia. So Germans may know this place as Marienbad. It's in the Kolovi Vary, the Karlsbad area. And oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. We absolutely love this area of Czech. That's why we keep going back. And a lot of Germans know how beautiful it is too because there are so many Germans everywhere. And it's so close to Germany. Germany. So all through this area there are natural hot springs and the water in these hot springs contain healing properties and so it's a famous area and as I said a lot of Germans like to visit. This area has beautiful lakes and forests and really unique gorgeous architecture and scenery. I've been to the Kolovi Vary region probably four times and to Prague so many times I've lost count and I've realized that I have not made a video talking about the cultural differences between Germany and the Czech Republic and I've done this for a lot of countries I've visited. I think it's about time for a Germany versus Czech video. I embrace cultural differences and so I'm not meaning to criticize any of the cultures I talk about. It's just interesting to point out the differences. So before I get into the cultural comparisons I want to talk a little bit about our amazing accommodation. We were lucky enough to stay in Revelton Studio and if you watch my videos you would have seen that we have stayed a couple of times before in Revelton Suites in Kolovi Vary. So we stayed for four nights in Marianske Lansnia in Revelton Studios and oh my goodness it was incredible. Each apartment is decorated in a different musical theme from David Bowie to Elton John. We had the coolest studio apartment decorated with Ace of Bass memorabilia. The whole style of this apartment was so fun and unique with a very cool vibe. Everything was spotless, sparkling clean, well organized. The beds were all made up with fresh clean bedding and oh my goodness the beds and pillows were so comfortable. We all slept really well during our stay in Revelton Studios. We had a nice little fully equipped kitchenette where we could cook and prepare all of our meals. Revelton always adds little extras like porridge packets, tea bags, sugar, salt, oil. This time we were even greeted with fresh croissants and jam which I thought was so sweet. Revelton Studios in Marianske Lansnia even has a musical themed lobby for their guests to just hang out, drink coffee, read books, watch TV. I just love how this lobby is decorated, so fun and unique. Downstairs we even had a mini gym that we were free to use during our entire stay at Revelton Studios. So the highlight of our stay for the kids was definitely this amazing playroom as well as this awesome fluorescent music museum with so many cool features. Oh my goodness, the kids loved this. We had a fantastic stay at Revelton Studios in Marianske Lansnia and I would highly recommend this accommodation to anyone visiting this area. Okay, so let's jump into the cultural comparisons between Germany and the Czech Republic. So something I've noticed every time I visit the Czech Republic is the hospitality there is world class. It is so, so good. So a perfect example is Revelton Studios. From the moment we arrived to the moment we left, we were so well looked after. They just went above and beyond to accommodate us. And it was like that everywhere we went in Czech, whether it was restaurants, restaurants, whether it was even at the supermarket, um, I just felt like the cashiers were super friendly and warm and chatty even though I couldn't speak Czech. They had a really good sense of humour when I said sorry I don't speak Czech. So I found that really cool. In contrast, I hate to say it, but the hospitality in Germany is not that great. Germany is not known for really great warm welcoming hospitality. And so I've talked about this in previous videos, when you go to restaurants in Germany, I just feel like the hospitality is lacking. In Germany, you get the bare minimum as far as making you feel welcome. So yeah, I love Germany. You all know that I love Germany, but I have to say that Czech definitely wins when it comes to service and hospitality. So something else I noticed, particularly this time round in the Czech Republic, when I went to the supermarket, I found it a lot 
less stressful than it is in Germany and so I've talked about how when you go to the supermarket in Germany it's always just one big rush at the checkout they are very time efficient here in Germany and super super quick when they are serving you and you know scanning your items and it's almost like I joke about it often and say it's kind of like an Olympic sport going to the supermarket in Germany you need to be prepared you need to be fit you need lots of practice to be able to just handle the pace of just the checkout speed at the checkout in the Czech Republic that's a mouthful it is a lot less stressful and the people working at the supermarket they take their time scanning the items they are chatting with each other I was not expecting this because I'm used to the supermarket chaos in Germany so I was getting all prepared and then I realized that I could just take my time because they were just putting things through nice and slowly the only problem with this is because they take their time at the checkout you are waiting for so long in the queue and there were several times when my family were waiting for me I said I was just going to nip in quickly and get a few things from the supermarket and they were waiting for me for so long and it's because I was just waiting in the queue and I was just expecting it to be as quick as in Germany but no no it's not at all but I have to say apart from the insane speed of the checkouts in Germany there are a lot of things that I prefer about German supermarkets for one all of the bags are biodegradable like paper bags or you have to bring your own reusable bags and in Czech they still have the plastic bags hardly anyone there uses reusable bags and they are a lot more environmentally conscious in Germany also something I noticed this time round is in several different supermarkets that I went to in the Czech Republic the food was not as fresh as what I'm used to in Germany so for example in Germany the meat is always super super fresh and if there's like three days until the use by date or two days I'll make it clear with a sticker that you know you need to use this quickly but in Czech most of the meat that I saw it was only going to last like a day or two until it went off and I don't know whether this is common in Czech but it was three different supermarkets I went to and I noticed that the use by date on all of the meat was getting pretty close and this is not the case in German supermarkets so a perfect example is the last night we wanted to cook a uh, roast beef and I went to the supermarket and I found a really nice cut of beef and I got home and I opened it up and it absolutely stunk and I showed my husband and he was like no no that is not good that is old meat and Oh, it stunk so badly and I looked at the use by date and it was about to go off the next day but it had clearly already gone off and we were too far away from the supermarket to go back and we had to chuck out the meat I was just so devastated I was so looking forward to it and oh it just made me feel sick and yeah I was put off by meat in the Czech Republic but maybe it was just my bad experience at that particular time I don't know maybe that was just a coincidence but I noticed that the food seems a little bit fresher in Germany as well as the fruit and vegetables I just noticed in Germany everything seems to be a bit fresher something else I noticed was that in Germany the level of English is a lot higher than in Czech at least in the area where I was the people at the Revelton where we stayed spoke beautiful like perfect English but in general the level of English in Czech is not as high as in Germany I wasn't really expecting people to speak a high level of English in Czech because I know that it's not the case in every country I know that Germany is exceptional when it comes to the high level of English that they speak but something that really surprised me is the high level of German that many of the people in Czech spoke so for example if I was in a shop or a restaurant and I had to ask a question I would automatically ask it in English assuming that they may speak a little bit of English more so than German for the most part they would say something along the lines of sorry nor English and then they would switch to German and I was like, oh and then I'd speak to them in German and it was fine but I found it really interesting that many of them spoke great German but no English I guess this has something to do with the fact that a lot of Germans travel to this area of Czech I don't know whether it's like this all over Czech but 
in this area in the Kolovi Vary region there are a lot of Germans who visit. In the hospitality industry it just probably makes more sense business wise for them to learn German instead of English so I found that super interesting. I actually noticed that in Croatia too. More Croatian people spoke German than they did English. That was really eye-opening for me. So last but not least, something I just have to comment on. That is the style of the people in Czech versus Germany. So I noticed that the women in Czech are very elegant. Obviously not all of them, but many of the women in Czech dress in a very elegant way similar to how the women in Poland dress and in Germany I'm not saying that the women dress badly or anything in general German women dress really nicely but they have a more relaxed and comfortable style you could say so it's all about comfort and practicality in Germany and in Czech it's a little bit more about style and elegance and I was talking about this with my daughter Amelia she's 11 and we took a night stroll through the city center in Klovi Vary and she was saying wow the women here dress so nicely they're so elegant just like Oma so Amelia's Oma my husband's mum is originally from Poland and she she dresses so beautifully and she always looks very elegant. And Amelia noticed that the woman in Czech had a similar style to her Oma, which she really liked. And I just love people watching wherever I go and I couldn't help but notice how beautifully dressed the women were in general. As I mentioned, there were a lot of Germans visiting Czech during the time I was there and I could spot a German a mile off. Amelia and I were actually playing a little game, spot the German, just for fun, and we just could tell by the way the people dressed if they were German or not. Germans were most likely dressed in very comfortable practical clothes. I'm not saying they didn't look good but they just had a different style about them. So it was just more about comfort and practicality rather than elegance and style. So anyway guys I've come to the end of this video. I really really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really really helps out my channel. I would love you to consider subscribing if you haven't already. I know that so many of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed so if you would consider subscribing if you like my videos then that would mean the world to me. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!